What is up, YouTube family? So, it is day two. Gonna be uh, heading to go get our loaded trailer today. Um, waiting on a load to confirm for the next leg of the journey. Um, going good. Uh, went to Iowa's largest truck stop and I uh, got some things needed for the truck. Um, let me give you a, a tour and then I'm going to put some footage in here too of our, our journey. Um, kind of split videos of how we got here. So here we go. For the steering wheel, I got a steering wheel cover. It's like a squishy gel. It's actually pretty nice. It's called Just Squeeze It and uh, makes you stronger. I don't know how it does that, but it says it's excellent for all that stuff. And I actually like it. It's grippy. It like the leather's grippy and it feels good. Um, the tablet they give me, I got an external speaker so I could hear it better. Got a speaker for my CB so I can hear what people are saying. It's having a hard time hearing. Got, um, you know, one of those for the CBs. Got my uh, sunglass visor clip for my sunglasses. So that was good. Uh, let's see, what else did I get? Oh, I got a cord for my cooler. Um, then we got, uh, that's what it got at the truck stop, I think, pretty much. But Oh, and she wanted to get this. It has little uh, ice cube gel packs that you stick in the bottom plate so it cools you down. I mean, not a bad idea, right, for like not having to run the, the car. It comes with a rechargeable battery at uh, the car. Oh, boy. Good morning. The truck. You don't have to run the truck to have a, um, you know, air conditioner. There's my wife's CPAP machine. I don't need one. It's just for my wife. Um, I got my Keurig along. Got a little aromatherapy, essential oil, vaporizer. Got my microwave. I got a personal HEPA filter. I um, got some natural air fresheners, natural cleaners up there. Um, got some stuff up there. Now, I'll show you in the closet the these containers fabric containers work really well they have your clothes in keep those in the closet got an idea from a trucker these brackets allow you to put your phone in there then a little cable um pinchers or whatever you call it to keep the cable secure same thing over here i did for the fire tablet um now this is really cool these, you can see these hooks here. If you got any watches at all that you use, you can put those command hooks here, hang your watch, and then use double sided, uh, you know, Velcro, and then it'll just magnetize right on there and it'll keep charging. And through all the bumps and driving, it hasn't come off at all. Um, let's see, I think my watch was dead one it, yeah it's a hundred percent so turn that on so yeah that's great um I did double I put another old mattress on top of the one that they have because it's rock hard and I put some sticky velcro stuff in there and of course we got all of our storage up here a lot of stuff, right? But got musical instruments and stuff for when I have time. Um, oh, and then a little commode, which comes in really handy. Uses a bag, a bag and a gel pack. So, oh, let me show you something else. Uh, a peddler. They have a more compact version at the truck stop, but we got that one off of Amazon. Um, it was cheaper. And then I got this ab thing. It vibrates. You step on it. It's like an exercise. So, 
I think that pretty much covers it. Um, got some vacuum, like a dry, a wet and dry vacuum called This Works. Um, so yeah, just trying to be organized and this isn't our, our first time out, you know, so we uh, already had some preconceived ideas of um, of um, you know how to organize I'm sorry I'm still drinking my coffee <laughs> I got some underbody lights I would love to show you right now but I'm gonna have to do that when it's dark um, it's uh, like cyan or blue it's just like what you put on a car, but I just zip tied it underneath the truck. Um, let me show you something else I got at the truck stop. I thought this was really cool. For all you Christians out there. My co-pilot walks on water. So. That's about it. Just waiting for my my um my 10 hour clock if i don't shut that door good enough i try to move forward it's gonna go honk 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 like a security alarm anyhow um got that light uh just waiting for my 10 hour clock <sighs> then i'll start rolling um should be here shortly and then I can get to the empty and get to the loaded and get to the destination. And then it's time to sit again for 10 hours and then deliver tomorrow. And hopefully that one I'm waiting on will confirm and then go from there. Um, someone, a uh, trucker learner channel um, left a comment, appreciate your comments, appreciate your, uh, advice, um, you said Canada, you must be a Canadian driver, um, I'm sure that load board's probably different, freight's probably different in and out of Canada, um, so, you know, everybody's experience is going to be different, it's, uh, you know, load planning and all that is going to be up to you um some people make it some people don't right but that's all dependent on their understanding of how to know your cost per mile versus your you know profit per mile um to make sure that you're running for profit above that cost per mile and of course you take time off that's going to eat into losses into your business, um, which you can divide by an average, uh, to know, you know, then what your average, um, profit per mile would be, which would make it lower, of course, but, um, that's why, you, like, what I want to do, you build a savings before you take time off, so then you just take it out of your savings, so, um, you're kind of basically making yourself a vacation, I count like a paid vacation, in a way, get enough savings, same thing as an employer would do, um, pretty much so Anyhow, that's about it and stay tuned for the uh, um, Footage talk to you later. Bye